What's happening guys? Chris VA Travels out here on this windy day in Washington DC and going to visit the home of Virginia born president Woodrow Wilson. This is his retirement home. He actually purchased this thing just months before the end of his second term. And yeah, it's windy and cold, so I'll make my intro brief. Uh, he bought this for his wife, Edith, and it was built in 1915 by Henry Fairbanks. And it's based on architectural drawings uh, from architect Waddy Wood. That's quite a name. And check out that row, three Palladium windows. Just kind of a fluted arch on the top of each one. Kind of just a cube-shaped building. Some medallions hanging underneath that cornice up there. And yeah, big brick box. But uh, yeah, Wilson lived here for the rest of his life. And then Edith lived here until 1961 when she died. A uh, quick note, little rosettes up there. Cool little uh, basic door columns. Cool little walkout, got the flag going. And uh, I can tell you that uh, David Lloyd George, British Prime Minister, has visited, just as a quick side note. So without further ado, I'm going to take my tour. Oh, cool little couplers on these candles. Oh, check out this chair. And this harp. Rocking chair over here, wicker back. Cool little arm right there. A couple bellflowers. Is that Pocahontas to the right? Check out this chandelier and this tapestry back here a garland hanging down oh wow okay fancy let me catch up with the tour whoa oh right, check out this phonograph there's his death mask that's kind of creepy Okay guys, in the study, check out this old typewriter. Library over here, pretty cool katana. And there's uh, George back there. Old radio microphone. Some original furniture. Pretty good painting. Uh-oh, that's uh, the projector that Birth of a Nation was played on. And his daughter liked to play this piano. Okay, there's Edith in the room with the piano. Okay, we're in the solarium. See the egg and dark pattern on the corners? This is where they would have their breakfast. They would open the door. Catch a little breeze. Backyard, you see that there would have been a fountain down there, it looks like. Oh, look at this old uh, telephone. Pretty cool. Little statue. Look at the grounds right there. Oh, wow. Nice. This is a well furnished house. Alright, so a quick walk around the dining room. A picture up there of Edith that she didn't like, she didn't approve of. Oddly because it made her look younger and smaller. <laughs> okay. And she liked to sit in this chair with the sun to her back. Two armchairs across from each other and oh, check out the uh, the urn over here. Some garland coming down, bellflower. Pretty nice design. And this is where the term trophy wife, or it's a play on trophy wife, 
And this is a tr trophy his younger wife, Edith, had gotten. It says the Virginia delegation in the 64th Congress. And again, little bellflowers coming down. Here in the servants' quarters. Yeah, pretty neat little shields on the uh, on the lights. All right, let me catch up with you. Uh, oh, look at the switches. Pretty neat. Algorithms and letters of wood. And like I said, it was originally a is that like Milton Bradley? When President Moon, when President is that an early Moon Scrabble? <laughs> Look at this calendar. Some papers down here on his desk. 1923, August. So that's when he was out of office. And that's his first wife pouring tea. Back here in old scale. And is this a doctor's kit or a surgeon's kit? Some pretty interesting items here. X-ray. Thompson Plaster X-ray out of Leesburg, Virginia. There he is. Uh, all right, so like a chair a patient would sit in. A little call button. As we go down the oh, stairs, nice can and collection. It's a, a lot of vests. And you will see a picture with Isaac and President Wilson. Uh, the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. But, but like I said, that's just my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty convenient. But, you know, this is where, you know, I'm pretty sure there were good days and bad days because you can never tell that the number of how many times you're going to be Yes. Yes. Isaac and Wow, look at that key. And this is the bed he died on. You want to see something weird? Right, right. They were That's his first wife. Right, for 10 years. Now, I would even have that in front of him. Uh, and the clock is set to the time he right, died. Right, right, right. But the other thing, like I said, if you're local and you're interested, that's one of the special tours that they do give about Four Mary and Isaac, and you go up on the fourth floor. The special tours are a little more pricier than the guided tour, but they have the special tour. And then There's Edith over, over here, the and the house is furnished as it was in 1924. Okay, yeah, National Geographic, 1923. Another bathroom back here. It's Edith's bedroom, bathroom. Some satin tissue right there, 9,000 sheets. <laughs> The Bowling family crest and Edith Bowling Wilson. The Bowlings were a descendant of Pocahontas and John Rolfe and Pocahontas had their son Thomas Rolfe and yeah, he married into the uh, Bowling family. There she is again. 
pretty neat items in here, and she liked to sew. There's her sewing machine. Is like a plus. Mm -hmm. Little day bed over there. Another old telephone. Little call button, or is that? I guess that's what the phone is connected to. Oh, there's Pocahontas again on that plate. And uh, urn over here. 1815, it says. Pocahontas again. Although it looks kind of white there, but there she is has her fancy hat on okay all right guys that's it for the upstairs headed back down and uh, little, another little call, call button there it looks like all right so and some narrow stairs yeah, right it's like a vault, safe. Yep. So that's Allies tea service. All right, guys. We're in the servants area. Here's their sink. Picture of them. Love words. <laughs> and some china over here. Okay. Pretty neat. The other end of those call buttons. There's the big screen TV. Huh. And yeah, more dishes over here. And actually, I think that's their presidential pattern. This plate over here. Wilson State Service. Dark Cobalt. I think it's cool they had a TV. All <laughs> right, big screen TV. All right, on the other side, we've got is this a safe or an oven? <laughs> I can't even see it. I just see New York, Boston, Washington. And I guess it's not as, oh, yeah, so it must be some sort of oven. I was just thinking safe because I just saw this safe. All right, so one more level. Oh, so here's the actual kitchen. Dumb waiter over here. Oh, check out the ice box. Yeah, you see the hooks right there. You put the blocks over here, then the food over here, the eggs, the dairy. All right, so walking around the kitchen. Some pretty, uh, pretty neat beater over here. Sunshine crispy saltines. Some corned beef. That's where they did the dishes, it looks like. Some old ivory soap flakes and black soap. Powdered hand soap. What is this? Electro silicon? Okay. Interesting. It's always good to keep a hacksaw handy. <laughs> Pretty neat stove. <laughs> and a cool little little lion design there. Pretty fancy. Some tea. Old Maxwell House coffee. And some Kellogg's All Brand. <laughs> I right, me just walk over here and look at these items and some of the servants. Okay. Okay. You see, yeah, uh, he used the cane towards the end of his life. I just think it's always love looking at all the different kitchen gadgets. Old cookbook. Very simple, five versions of things that we are. Yes. 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 Oh yeah. That's all the same. 
and you have speed dial, it looks like. <laughs> Ford School fan right there. Okay, I think that wraps up the tour. Yeah, this is the exit over here. So. Alright guys, that's it for the Woodrow Wilson house. See you on the next one.